our mental health, our joy, our self-expression, our creativity, we don't see that as valuable. We see that survival is the most valuable thing. Immigrant mentality is the mindset and the way that we think based on the experiences of being an immigrant. When you are an immigrant, you literally leave everything behind, usually including your family and everything that you know, your home country, your safety zone, your comfort zone, and you start all over. That in itself is so scary. That in itself is going to be full of uncertainty, anxiety, and pressure to make it. So that already starts to create and develop a mindset, a mentality, this belief system of, oh my gosh, I've left everything behind and I need to do whatever it takes to make it. That becomes the first priority. We have to survive. We have to make it. We just left everything behind and we have to make sure that we are going to make it and not get kicked out or end up on the streets or be shamed back to the motherland or maybe we can't even go back to the motherland. So survival becomes the number one priority. And so then that starts to shape the way that we look at everything. That starts to shape the way that we see life and the way that we prioritize. It starts to shape what we spend our time, money, and energy on. It starts to shape what we think is important. Immigrant mentality, while it has served us very well in terms of surviving and making it and making a life for ourselves, immigrant mentality has 100% been the reason why my parents made it. And what I mean by make it is they survived. They made it. They put a roof over my head. They were able to support me mostly through school. They were able to put food on our table. They helped us survive. We didn't fucking die. We didn't like end up on the street. Everything else outside of that is foreign. It's out of the scope of immigrant mentality. If you only have immigrant mentality, that's what you know. You don't really know anything outside of that. So everything else outside of that is bliss joy, self-expression, creativity, soulfulness, what makes us happy. Those things are kind of out of that scope. It's out of that frame of mentality. So it's really important for us now as the children of immigrant parents to take that a step further, to really level up. No more surviving anymore. They survived for us. Now let's take it to that next level and start to understand what it means to thrive. No more surviving. What does it mean to thrive? What does it look like to thrive? That is really the work that I'm trying to do with y'all and trying to help you see that that's possible. So I really believe that a lot of our money baggage, especially around Asian Americans, really comes from what I like to call immigrant mentality or survival mentality. Immigrant mentality is basically the mindset that our parents had when they came over from wherever they came from. They come from another place and they have to start all over. That mentality already starts with a bunch of narratives. We gotta make it, we gotta fit in. It's very fear-based. And so a lot of our money baggage really comes from what our parents believed they needed to do in order to survive as immigrants. And what's gonna be the number one indicator that you've made it? You got money, you got the house, you got the good job, you've got it secured and you're set. That's how you know that you've made it. That's how you know you've survived. That's how you know that you made it to the other side. It isn't about self-expression and creativity and what makes you happy and mental health and what brings you joy and what brings you bliss. No, it's about survival. So then that is where we put all of our attention. That is where we put all of our resources. That is what we value the most. So then when it starts to come to spending money on our happiness, what even is that? When it comes to spending money on our mental health, what are you crazy? Like, what do you need to do that for? Don't do that. So then we can't really see that our mental health, our joy, our self-expression, our creativity is important. We don't see that as valuable. We see that survival is the most valuable thing. So then the way that we spend our money reflects that. The way that we use our money, the way that we view our money, the way that we see how we need to make money and keep our money reflects that. Basically, immigrant mentality times survival mentality equals scarcity mentality. It leads up to that. It ends up taking us into scarcity mentality because immigrant mentality says, just fly under the radar, just make sure that you don't get in trouble and make sure that you get all the best grades so that you eventually can have a seat in society and make sure that you gotta do whatever you can to make sure that you have food on your table and make sure that you have the money. Make sure, make sure, make sure. And so then all of a sudden there's so much fear because I really believe that scarcity mentality comes from being scared. Remember, scarcity. I'm scared. They go together. It keeps us from believing that there is more outside of that. 
So basically, immigrant mentality, survival mentality ends up turning into scarcity mentality because the only thing that we have to focus on are these things. We just have to make it. We just have to survive. We just got to make our money. And there's really no other room. We're like too scared to spend money on other things. We're too scared to take a leap. We're too scared to chase our dreams. We're too scared to think bigger. We're too scared to think outside of the box because we don't think it's going to be good enough. We don't think that we're going to be good enough. We don't think that we're going to make it. We don't think that it's going to pay the bills if we pursue arts or acting or entertainment or whatever. We're afraid that we're not going to be able to make it. And we've been taught that the most important thing is to fit in and make it, is to fit in and make your money, is to have all these basic survival needs met. So then we are too scared to even take a leap on ourselves, to spend the money to get help, to maybe explore things outside of our safety zone, explore things that cost more money outside of the basic living survival costs. So this is why we have to be so aware of how our immigrant survival mentality is now creating scarcity mentality. There are so many reasons why we have to get out of scarcity mindset and scarcity mentality. One, we have to get out of scarcity mindset so that you can be happy and free. If we keep holding ourselves back from exploring the thing that we really want to explore or spending the money on the thing that we think will actually help us take ourselves to the next level, then we are holding ourselves back from our true happiness. We're staying stuck in the job that we don't even give a shit about. We're staying stuck doing the thing that's safe just so that we can make sure that we can survive. And even though we are surviving, we're not thriving. So number one, we need to break out of our scarcity mentality so that we can be happy and so that we can be free. Two, we need to do this work on scarcity mindset and survival mentality so that we can tune in to all of the abundance that is actually available. There is so much out there waiting for us that we don't even realize is waiting for us. Like there's so much out there that's waiting for us that we haven't even tapped into. There's so much recognition. There's so much acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. There's so much money. There's so many achievements and accolades and just there's actually just so much more that's waiting to be given to us. There's so much more where that came from and we're missing out on that. We're missing out on all of that fucking gold in all the ways that is available to us when we stay in scarcity mindset. So we're missing out. We're missing out on more abundance. There's more where that came from. That's my number one motto when it comes to money, right? There's more where that came from. So we need to do this work so that you can realize that there is more where that came from. So you can actually get more out of life, which then takes you back to number one, so that you can feel more happy, feel more free, and really tune into the abundance that is already your birthright.